Ooh, welcome back, travelers of the Side of Heavy and we are back playing a little more Septech Ages. Uh, and we're almost done with each one, as far as I can tell. <clears throat> there might be more left, I don't know. There might be more hiding over here, but as it is right now, this one looks pretty well completed. Uh, we need to go get some copper, and we need to go get uh, build our kiln. Now, see, I'm paying attention this time, like I said last time, Y12 to 45. And how am I going to do that? Well, I'm going to go get my plum so I know what height we're at. Then we can kind of test it out that way. I did finally move the chest out of that little room and kind of double them all up. So <coughs> we don't, uh, you know, constantly, constantly, constantly run out of room because I was having that problem. But we're just going to dive right in because obviously I want to go grab some of the copper. We found some. You know what? Before I leave, I just remembered because I was thinking copper and tin and wanting to do bronze eventually. And I'm assuming since this can't do alloys, we're going to get something that can do alloys pretty soon. However, I need to make more tin because uh, tin and copper, I believe, is what you do to make bronze. And I know bronze is a very important metal in apply or not in uh, immersive engineering. So we'll be getting to that pretty soon, hopefully. But uh, it wasn't too long after the episode was done. I just happened to be, you know, walking around looking for uh, samples and stuff like that. Hello, Mr. Cow. And I found a couple new ones. And this one is Mala, which I've got right there. And this is a copper ore. And there's a Mala over here. And I think. I don't know. Did I turn any eye? I turned any eye off again. I, I have to turn it off. You'll watch just when I click any eye right now, like the whole thing freezes. Like I've already hit escape to back out of this and I've already hit escape to back out of it. It just, it freezes. So nothing of interest, nothing of interest. Well, it is, I don't know how far it goes. Out. I'm trying to see if I run around the top here, if maybe I'll get into like a corner. Oh, see, 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 see. Right here. This one? Okay, there's five there. I'm Oh, there's seven there. There's seven there. There's nine there. Nine, seven. Okay, so this is where we're gonna dig down. This is where the sample is. This makes a little more sense. Except this is not Mal, whatever it's called. This is the other one, which is another form of tin, I believe. Yeah, so that's not the one we want. We want over here by this stuff. So let's see if we can find some over in this corner. There we go. Eight. Eight. Okay, cool. So this corner is where we're going to dig straight down. Yes, I'm going to dig straight down because I want to get this done quickly. Okay, well apparently and it was 12 to 48 so that okay that maybe that makes a little more sense now to me like the the two four there's eight in this block straight down i'm thinking that's what it's trying to tell me at least i'm hoping i'm figuring that out right um let me go ahead and turn any eye off while we're hey i yeah add it there we go any eye disabled now you run efficiently. There we go. So, oh, look at we found it already. Awesome. Yeah, see, that was so much quicker. So, yeah, 12 to 48 wasn't too far away. That's actually really, really nice. I don't know how much of this I'm going to want to get right now. Maybe just a decent amount just to kind of get started. I know where all these little mines are at now. And we don't need to go crazy. We don't have a huge need for any of this material yet. It's more of obviously just following the quest pattern and stuff like that. So I'm going to continue to dig this hole straight down until we run out of it. And this would be, if I read right, one, two, three, four, five. This is six, seven, and eight. And that should be back to stone or dirt. Yeah. That Okay. So that's how that thing works. It makes a little more sense now. It basically just tells you how many blocks are in that particular like block. That's cool. I understand it better now. So I'm figuring this <coughs> prospecting mod out just a little bit better. So that's cool. 
and it is coming up on nighttime. We need to get back and go sleep it off. But now we can go smelt up some copper, right? And I think I got to make it into ingots. Yeah, so I'm going to have to, we've got the anvil, so we're good to go there. So let's go sleep this night off and get started on the copper. I've got to go put three more tin up there to do that. And then we can work on the kiln while that is happening. And yeah, so there we go. Let's go make sure that I get all the tin in there. Make a block. Do you got all six ingots? Yes, you do. So let's go ahead and get the last three. Like so. Get you smelted. And then we'll go ahead and put you up there. I might start some kind of auto smelting. Um, maybe just a chest and a hopper that feeds in. And maybe I'll make a couple of these. So like I'll have one for tin, one for copper. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. But I do want to get going on the uh, uh, kiln and see what we can do with that thing. So my tools are over here. Let me put you guys away. You're all organized now. Let me throw my junk away that I don't need. I don't need any marble. Don't need you. I'll hold on to the granite. I will hold on to the granite. And oh, I got an extra dirt block I don't need. Go away. Okay. And we'll just put you in the building materials chest, which is somewhere around here. There you go. Uh, there. Cool. Granite put away. Now, I'm going to need some clay. It was four recipes, so it's eight of these. And then I need to make eight sandstone, which means I'm going to need 32 sand. Right? That's how you, Oh, you know, I bet I'm going to have to put this in the compressor too. Let's see. Let's see. Nope. That's, that's easy enough. Okay, cool. So that's the one thing. Coal, to put it back together, you have to put it in the compressor. And clay, you got to put in the compressor. But no sand. Sand, we're good to go. All right, so... Oh, I'm going to need to do you again. Okay. You right there. This is almost becoming a regular thing now. I don't know why. I've got so much food. I don't need to put the grill there anymore. Let me go put the grill over here. That's what I'll do. There. I don't need the grill right now. I've got a ton of food. We're good on protein for quite a while. Let me go ahead and put you guys in there. Do your thing. All right, so you're cooking up. Um, sandstone, we're good. Tin, let's see if you're done yet. I don't know how long it takes to cook you up. Yeah, you're done. That's a block, right? Yeah. And we'll go ahead and make you, and then we'll grab our copper here and get you guys cooking. And we'll make some more tin ingots. Uh huh. Put you there. I gotta go grab one of my hammers. You know, I might put a drying rack over here with my hammer on it. Um, actually, you know what? Does this does this pack have place in the world? I remember seeing that somewhere. I don't remember where I saw it, but can I place in the world? Fancy block particles. Well, that is something I wasn't expecting. Okay. Uh, options, controls. I could have sworn I saw someone place things. I know Draconic uh, has that option, and I don't know if Draconic's in this or not. But I do want to look and see if there's the uh, car. Carry on. <coughs> um, pick so many weird things. Okay. Um, toggle offhand item. This I got to, I, I should really set this up. Um, Flancy block particles. Galactic craft, place item in world. It is P. Let us put that is like that. So would that work now? If I do that, or does it have to be like? Oh, what are you doing? There we go. Okay, you. Oh, you can put it on the. Oh, and I just do that. Can I put you here? No, I can't. But I can put you like right there. That might be a cool place to put it. I don't know. We'll see. But let's go ahead and make some ingots up real quick. That's super quick. And we'll just place these for right here right now. I'll, I'll f I'm going to figure out a better place to put that stuff eventually. But for the time being, not bad. You take a long time to smelt, don't you? Okay. So there's the tin there. I've got the sandstone. Let's go get the clay and get this kiln built. 
it's another two by two item which is really not going to work with my modular build but oh, you know what I ain't hating on life so eight why did you stay you still have something in there I don't know that's weird I think I've seen it do that before but I'm not sure okay so you two and you two give me the kiln blocks okay where are we gonna put this kiln I'm thinking that could be something we put over in this area up here um and maybe we'll make like a smeltery area up in this area I'm not sure we'll we'll see how we do it like um like all my metals and stuff like that maybe we'll do that up here over the farm but for the time being, we just need a place to put it. And it's going to bum me out that it's even, but whatever. Let's put you up here for right now. And then I need... Oh, I don't have an engineer's hammer yet. Uh, if I remember correctly, it's two string... I thought it was ironing it, but I don't have iron yet. So let's, let's see. Uh, hammer. Engineer's hammer. It's going to be two copper ingots. Okay, cool. So we just got to wait on that. I uh, got the sticks. I just need the two string. There we go. Did I get the achievement? I didn't notice. I did. Oh, look at that. How did I get the... Oh, I just had to find it. Okay. Now, now, oh, now we're talking. So if you guys don't know, my very first like full on series I ever did was Tragic Magic. It was a, uh, 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 what do you want to call it? A series with a couple of my friends. Uh, use alloy kiln, alloy kiln to produce bronze. Okay. Uh, craft the Necronomicon to guide you through Abyssal Craft. Okay. Um, I love, I love, love, love blood magic. Um, I had so much fun with it. Um, and I've been looking forward to trying to do it again. Um, like really get into it. And I was doing a little bit of research ahead of time. Trying to see like, you know what kind of changes have been made and it's quite different from when I played it back on uh 1.7.2 yeah it was a while ago uh but I absolutely love the mod I think it's just so much fun and there's so much you can do with it so that that will be awesome I'm now I'm definitely going to need to do maybe that's where that side will go we'll do a really cool blood magic temple over here Ooh, and it'd be weird to kind of keep it with wood. I like, you know, color block theming and stuff like that. But, well, I guess we could do that. I mean, we're evolving, right? We're evolving into blood magic, which means it's not just going to be wood. We're getting into the magical stuff, right? So, come on, copper. Come on, copper. You've got three ingots. You're almost done. I need the copper to make the hammer so I can make the kiln. So then I can make some bronze. And what else can I start? Let's look at the the altar it's been a while the altar we need stone easy furnace easy bronze we're gonna make those demonic will <clears throat> an imprint of a demonic entity attached to a creature can be attained by killing a mob with a sentient weapon or by throwing a snare at a mob and killing it while it has white particles well let's look at a snare snare that is made with tin, ash, and string. And ash is made from smelting what looks like normal planks. Okay. Let's go smelt up a couple normal... Did you finish? No! Well, I guess it didn't matter. Um, yeah. So let's grab three more and get those going. And put you in there. Good. And let's go smelt up a couple planks. Well, just one, really. So you... So are you going to make ash? That's interesting. Because it's not going to make charcoal. Uh, at least I would assume there's not going to be a conflict and they've figured that out. Yep. There's the ash right there. Tin. We've got string. Was the other one? Yeah, we've got string. Let us go grab a little more string and make the snare and see if we can get the sentient whatever, whatchamacallit. One, four of them. Four of them. One, two, three, four. <clears throat> oh, tin. I need to go grab the tin. Really should just put a crafting table right over here, but I guess I don't need to have them all over the place. One, two, three, four. Hopefully it's not a one-time use, and hopefully if it is a one-time use, it works. 
the first time. Oh, it gives me four of them. Okay. Now, as I was reading that, did it say mob or did it say hostile mob? Uh, oh. Uh, throw at a monster and then kill them to obtain their demonic will. Monster it is. We happen to have a hunting dimension that we can go do that in. This should be cool. Oh my gosh, we're going to get blood magic. Oh, I forgot to shift while going in. Oh, look at that. There's coal right here. Oh my gosh, I ran. There was coal right there. That's kind of funny. Okay, so it said white particles with snare, kill monster, get weird green green glowing thing okay so is this part of blood magic oh it is so this is new um i don't want to get too far but i do want to find a mob somewhere i don't i don't know if spiders are considered i mean they are hostile but i saw one where was he at oh he's right over there where oh where just Give me a mob, please. There's food here. Nice. Um, where in the world? This, the whole point of this is to be killed, right? <laughs> I mean, for hostile mobs. It's called the Hunter's Dimension. It said if you needed hostile mobs, this is the place to go. I haven't seen one yet other than a spider off in the distance. I might go try it on the spider just because I saw two of them. It's the only mob I've seen. Ah, here we go. Here we go. Come here, Zombert. I don't see white particle effects. Um, I don't see white particle effects. Did it not work? Well, I got the mobs I was looking for, huh? Well, that was just unfair. I didn't realize my life had gone down that far. <clears throat> That's a sad day. Hopefully my stuff doesn't despawn. Death Compass. Spins freely because we're not in this dimension. Okay. Let us... Let's, let's go sleep the night off first. Just so when I come back, it's not nighttime and I'm not getting hit by more mobs. <sighs> I hate dying. I have like no armor though. I was not expected to all. I had no mobs and then all of a sudden there's like four of them on top of me. That was, that was sad. I hate dying. I mean, I do it so often. I'm so good at it. You should love the things you're good at, right? Um, You guys suck. You're like guarding my stuff over here. Okay, so the snare did not seem to work. Um, although I don't know if, did I get one of those? No, I did not. Let's put armor on. My armor's almost all dead. <sighs> Do I want to kill you guys? Okay, screw this. Gotta go. <laughs> Okay, so the snare did not seem to work. Let's let's check that description again because I swore I hit those guys with the snare and don't make noises at me. I forgot that the portal makes noises. Um, hmm. Let's go read that description again. So it was the altar, right? This, okay. Can be obtained by killing a mob with a sentient weapon or by throwing a snare at a mob and killing it while well, it has white particles. I'm wondering if I can do a vanilla mob, but I don't want to waste it. So, I, yeah, I don't have like a lot of tin yet. <laughs> I will eventually, but I don't have a lot of tin yet. So, let's see. Copper, you go ahead and pour. I'm going to need to go get more tin, but let's try this one more time. And go get a little bit more string. And we'll, I guess we'll try again. This is, it was a bit sad, a little bit sad. I didn't get any white particles. I, at one point I think I saw red particles. I don't know if that was 
something, but we'll do it. Mystery meat. Mystery meat. What is mystery meat? Okay, Ash, got you. Uh, snare. I remember the recipe. Bink, bink. Nope. Like that. I'm not binking. I almost binked. I am not binking. What was... Oh, to turn it back in. Shapeless crafting. Okay. I was like, what was that? And the ash. Okay. Let's go try this one more time. All my armor is like almost dead anyways. So I'm going to die if those mobs are still hanging out there. Hopefully they're gone. Hopefully I can find, just get one on one with somebody. <sighs> nope. Doesn't sound like it. I'm running away. Oh, come on. They're right next to the portal. Really? Let me eat real quick. All right. I don't want to do the Abyssal Craft one. I want to do like a vanilla zombie. Let me kill you. I mean, I don't know if it's really going to make a difference or not, but it just, I want to do it. <laughs> Come on. Where's... Oh, man, that, there goes my, I think, chest plate or pants. One of them popped. Oh, come on. Why isn't that Abyssal Craft one? Or not Abyssal Craft, but whatever. It embers. There it goes. What? Why did I move forward into him? So frustrating. I need good armor. I have a feeling bronze might give me good armor. Let's see. Yes, I can start making some better armor with bronze. Okay, let's go get my stuff back. Oh my goodness. This is not a happy day. Don't you dare kill me. Where is my gravestone? Right there. Okay. One of you guys. The vanilla zombie. There he goes. There we go. Oh my goodness. I'm getting attacked by everything. He's got this white particles. Come on. Come on, there's so many of you. Where's the one with the white particles? Oh my goodness, they're just relentless. You guys are just relentless and he doesn't have the white particles anymore. I might wait till nighttime in the overworld and try this there. Because I did get the white particles, which is good. But I don't want to die again. And all my armor is popping right now. And yeah, we have two snares left. We'll wait till nighttime for that. Yeah? Yeah. Let's look at the other achievements. Um, bronze is coming. Oh, you know what? I should be able to make that. Oh, I've got the copper. Yes, so we're good. And then I can make some bronze in the kiln. That'll be good. Uh, okay. Oh, look at that. You already poured. All right, and let's do this. Copper, you're green. That's interesting. Vetitus. Okay. What? I can't do anything. Are you crashing on me? Where'd the hammer go? Where'd my hammer go? I just saw it floating somewhere. Oh my goodness, it's floating in space. Okay. That was really strange. Nine ingots copper. Cool. Now I can go. I got the string, I got the sticks. Crafting tables over here. I can make my hammer. Like so. Right? If I remember correctly. Or was it like that and two? Yeah, there it is. Okay, cool. Hammer, got you. And... That was really weird that it just kind of placed in space. All right, put you there. Let's grab the tin. Let's make like four ingots up. So, shift right click. Yep, there we go. Such a bad place to put that, but whatever. Uh, four of you and four of you. And where did I put my coal at? I think I may have put it down by the furnace. Let's go check. As 
I just finally got all my like freaking nourishment levels up. And now they're going to be all down again, huh? Let's see. Well, fruit's up. Protein's not bad. Okay. That's a little bit saddening. I really, really don't think I should have died. I think that was cheating on the game's part. All right. So let's make up some bronze. And what else are we looking at? Uh, the abyssal craft. That. Okay. So we're going to wait for nighttime to get that one. How do we do? I'm trying to do that. There we go. Uh, Necronomicon. Let's look at that, right? No. Necronomicon. The little one right here, right? I've got some of that. I've got some of that. Plant cloth. We can do that super easy. That we can do super easy. Um... Oh, I've got three. <clears throat> Can I use others? Oh. Thank you. Work blade. Coming in for the save. All right. Um, and I've got twine around here somewhere. Yep. One. What was it? Is it nine of those? Yeah. Oh, hold on. Twine. Leather cord is nine leather cordage or plant twine. Okay, cool. I was like, wow, that would be a lot of leather to be wasting for this. Um, I don't know if it's waste. I guess it's progression, but um, work blade is in here. No, I need to make a new work blade. How do I do that one? The work blade is flint and twine. Okay, perfect. Got you. And you and sticks. I've got it. Work blade it up. Thank you. And then you give me the meat. Yes. There's. Oh, and a bone. Oh, that's kind of cool. And what was the other part of that? Necronomicon. What was the other part? The other part is rotten flesh. I have two on me. Uh, mob drops. There we go. Let's make up our Necronomicon. Like so. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And I'm just waiting on bronze. And this should knock out two quests at once. Yep. Abyssal crafted. And there we go. Abyssal trophy case. Okay, so there's some more quests we got going on. Almost nighttime. Um, I should probably try to make a couple more snares. I happen to have four left. And let's go get some string and some more ash. Uh, strings over here. One, two. Nope. There we go. There's the four I need. Like so. And I just need to go make some more ash. Let me put the work blade back for right now. And yeah, nighttime's coming. We should go find a Zombert that's not in that crazy freaking land. I, it sounded like a good idea at first until all my leather started breaking. Um, or my armor started breaking. But it's okay. I'm I'm not overly upset about it. I can do. I can deal. I can deal. But I do want to get these done. Like, sometime soon? Sorry, my timer just... That closed on me. There we go. Making sure. I do believe it or not actually time these episodes. Um, I know that seems like a, a load of malarkey as often as I go over, but I really do. Um, try to keep them in a legit time. Okay, so we got six snares. We should be good there. And what else are we taking a look at? Let's look at to perform dark rituals, you will need to collect statues to power your Necronomicon. Find a Shuggeth lair in the swamp and river biomes. After six or more spawn, they will eventually erect a monolith with a statue on top of it. Or craft a statue using the sluggish flesh. Consult the Necronomicon for more information. Interesting. Let's see. Um, forbidden knowledge. See, there's a lot of stuff I still can't do. Um... Can we go back? Where's the... There it is. Spells, rituals, miscellaneous information, special materials. Oh, did it say statues right there? Decorative statues. Okay. Um, a monolith stone. 
and some clay and some dye. Okay, I have seen a monolith before. I don't know where it was at. I don't, like, I don't recall exactly where I saw it, but I have seen one relatively close, so we might be able to go do that. I hate those slogger things, though. They, they suck. Okay, let's go find a Zombert out in the open. I'd almost rather do... Okay, there we go. There we go. Shwipey. 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 Got it. Cool. We have what we need to make our blood altar. Awesome. <clears throat> now I just have to figure out where I'm going to put it. And that'll be a building stuff off camera, more than likely. Actually, I'll leave it to you guys. You want me to kind of film that? Like you said, I know um, you made comments about being okay with it. But is that something you really want to see? That's that's really the question. Um, okay, so blood altar. There you are. Four stone, two bronze. Got it, got it, got it, got it. And a furnace. Okay, let's cook up four stone. One, two, three, four. Let's make a furnace. Everything else is on me. All right. Um, yeah. Cool. Will quality, 4.98. Interesting. So apparently they have different levels of quality. That's cool. All right. One down. What else are we looking at here? Uh, now that you're traveling less, you can use the blood altar to create an apple of lofty stature, which remove your step up abilities. Oh my goodness. Oh my God. How many times have I complained about it? How many times have I complained about it? It's a blood-soaked apple. Uh, eating increases your step height to a full block like a horse. Eat again to undo. Eating increases your step height to a full block? I don't know what that means. Huh. Well, we got to make it anyway, so whatever. Um... So, altar is right there, and make you... Alright, we have a blood altar. We got a blood altar. Let us, it's just a level 1 altar, it doesn't need to be anywhere special. We'll go ahead and put you right over here. <coughs> and now for the apple, I didn't, did I look at how to make it? <laughs> I think I looked at the recipe, but I don't think I actually looked at how to make it. Um... I need 1,500 life points. Okay, so we're going to need a knife. Um, it's sacrificial. Dagger, sacrifice. Sacrificial dagger. Uh, just a prick of the finger will suffice. I don't know which one I need. I think it's dagger of sacrifice. Nope, there we go. Two bronze and a sharp bone. That's got to be the one. Um, I got two bronze. Oh, well, we are on our way, aren't we? And this is actually going to be a great way to get my health back up. <laughs> I can't use that stone. Or not my health, but my nutrition. There we go. And two bronze to make the dagger. Awesome, awesome. I literally just closed the door and closed me out of it. Interesting. Um, okay, so you and you two. Now we've got that. This would be a great way to literally get my nutrition back up. Just keep draining my blood. So let's try it. I haven't done this in a while. It's one heart at a time. All right. And now we'll eat up to get our hearts back up. This, yeah, this will be a, a great way to... I think this will be... What? Yeah, come on. There you go. Let's get it going. Let's get it going. Let's get those hearts back up. I don't remember how much life essence you get per prick. But I know it's not much. But taking the step up ability off would be nice. Um, it's just... I like it at times. I do. Don't get me wrong. I like it at times. Like when I'm trying to run and do stuff quick. Like it just kind of shoots me up. But there are times where I really wish it wouldn't happen. <laughs> like... I don't know how to explain it any better than that. I think it's like 10 per, or maybe it's 100 per. 
Um, let's go get an apple and test this out and see if it's ready to make that apple. It said 1500, which would be like 15 pricks. If it's 100 per. If it's 50 per, that'd be 30 ticks. Let's see. I uh, don't want to put a whole stack in there. I just want to put one. Um, but I don't have a way yet to tell how much blood is in the altar, so. I want to make sure I have enough. Doesn't look like there's much. Okay, let's see. You're cooking. You're doing your thing. Hopefully this was enough. And I don't need a lot more. But I am so excited to have blood magic back. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. If you guys ever watch my Tragic Magic series, you'll understand how much I love this mod. Alright, so... No more step height disabled. And if I ever want it back, I can always make another one of those apples. So that's cool. That is legit. All right. So next thing we're going to be doing is going to find the monolith and trying to make a trophy. Because I don't want to wait till they erect a trophy. Um, consult the Necronomicon normal ritual section to discover how to summon a parrot and tame it using seeds to complete the advancement or just go find a jungle. <laughs> Um, okay. I uh, use the Abyssal Craft Ritual to create the Beneath Teleporter. Remember to PE in your Necronomicon before... Yeah, see, this is this is the stuff where I've played with this mod before, but I don't know too much about it. But we're going to go sleep off the night real quick. That was a really funny sound effect, by the way. I just want to say that. The... Um, oh, man. I'm so used to running up now. I'm just like... Oh. Okay. So the monolith, they say it's in the swamps and rivers. Do I? I don't have my raft on me. Let's go clean up our inventory a little bit and go see if we can find... Wrong way. Oh, my stuff's up here now. We'll go see if we can find the monolith. Oh, nope. You're over in tools, right? That's where I put you. Where is my... Is my raft on me and I'm not seeing it? It's not on me, right? Ah, there it is. Uh, for some reason, it's in my... What I call my building chest. Okay. Um, let's clean out inventory a little bit. All right. Good old-fashioned just sprint jumping. All right. Don't need you. Ooh! There's a book. Ooh. All right, we're gonna to have to get back into that book. This book was not that advanced the last time I did it. Um, I don't need you. I don't need seeds right now. Actually, you're all kind of trash. I might go hang these guys up for right now before we go find this monolith. Um, I think, yeah, I've got my books hanging in the doorway over here. So we'll put them over here next to my imaginary bear claw there. Um, <clears throat> we'll put you up there. Actually, we'll take the imaginary bear claw so I can put my Necronomicon right there. Don't think I need snares for a while. The bear claw, we're gonna put you in this chest. Where are you at? Where are you at? Where's the bear claw? I just... Where's the bear claw? The stupid thing's invisible because apparently there's no texture for it. Oh, I don't know. It was... I really don't know. Apparently, I'm going to have to face another one of those bears sometime. But let's go. Let's go off to the swamp. I don't remember if it was this swamp. I thought I saw the monolith over this way. I swore. I can almost swear that that is where I saw it at. It was like... In a river biome um, over by like an extreme hills area. And if I can go, I don't know if I can mine. Oh, hoo -hoo. that horse had a funny texture and all I saw was bear in my future. Oh my good. Oh, look at that. This was that copper ore. Apparently they're all right next to me. Um, well, let's go venture. Nothing but to venture. I don't know if a stone pickaxe can mine monolith stone, but if all else fails, we can find one 
and start uh, prepping and getting ready for it. That, I don't know if that's a swamp biome or if that's this one right here. I don't even know if that's a swamp biome. I don't know what these biomes are. The pretty blue leaves, they're, they're weird. Yes, I think the monolith is right over in this area. I believe that's where I saw it. I keep saying monolith, but I don't know if that's what it's called or that was... No, the, the creatures are sloggoths. Um, hold on. Is that my island? Yeah, so that's not it. That's mud. <clears throat> I think that's mud, too. I know I saw it somewhere. I saw it somewhere. Is that a jungle over there? Is that a jungle? I can go f tame a parrot? Isn't that what that thing said? Um, no, that's not a jungle. That's a, like, roofed forest. Uh, oh, there, that's here, that right there. I don't know if that's mud, or if that's the, the abyssal craft thing. It kind of looks squarish, but it very likely could just be mud. And that is mud, okay. And yes, the piranhas are chasing me. So we we will find this stupid thing. It's gonna happen. It's just a matter of when. So the mud's deceiving because I'm looking for dark blocks. <coughs> and those are just like random dark blocks that catch my attention. Y'all bugger off, okay? I ain't got no problems with you. I know I've seen one somewhere. It's just where's the question? Um, so these are definitely not river biomes and not swamp biomes. Either. I probably should have just gone over to the swamp. Oh, you know what? I know for certain there was one in the swamp. I remember seeing the slime on the ground from one of those shrogriffs or whatever they're called. I may, if we don't find something useful in like the next minute or two, I may head back because I do know for certain. Okay, so this is a river biome, right? Yeah. I know for certain that there is one over the... Leave me alone. Uh, there is one over there, so. Come on. Be lucky. Be lucky. Ooh, what's that on the surface right there? Is that gravel? Or is that something different? Is that an exposed ore of some kind? No, it's cobblestone, as a matter of fact. What is this? I love adventuring. Y'all need to chill, okay? You're gonna die. Yeah, you fish out of water. What is this? I don't remember doing this. This isn't something I did, is it? No. I wonder if this is, like, blocks that change. Yeah, because there's some over there, too. Hold on. Let me go get my <coughs> raft back before I leave. The Pranas are a bit annoying. They're not like hard to deal with, they're just annoying. Okay, let's go venture out and see what these are all about. I should have probably brought my sleeping mat with me. So it's just random cobblestone structures. It really makes me want to dig down and see if there's anything like inside. Um, but I'm thinking these could be like blocks that change into something later. Because it doesn't, yeah, there's nothing inside of them. This, I like how these are kind of dug out and stuff like that. Like, it's not normal caves and whatnot. It's all sorts of randomness. I kind of like that aspect. But let's keep looking <clears throat> for a swamp or a river biome. And see if we can find a shlogath, if that's what they're called. Or the monolith, whatever. Um, hmm. I'm glad I have my map now, but this isn't the most handy map to remember how to get back places. I know I live over there somewhere. Oh, don't freeze up on me. Uh, I literally just disoriented myself. Um, let's see. Well, let's pull out ye old raft here and keep venturing. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm going to give it like one more 
shot in an area and then I might just break away and go back to where I'm almost certain I know one's at uh, right over by where the dinosaur bones were at I'm pretty sure there's one over there but it's fun kind of venturing out and seeing stuff like I would have never seen that uh, those cobblestone things <laughs> not that there was anything special about them but just the whole like you know seeing them okay here's a swamp maybe there will be one over here I think that might be one right there because I see the mud's kind of like high although there's a lot of mud in the swamp so that might just be mud but it could be it could be what we're looking for um, yeah because this doesn't really look like a swamp not in the traditional oh there's a village nope that is mud <clears throat> That's cool. There's a village. I don't really have anything on me to really trade or anything like that, but it's cool to find one after I spent so much time trying to find one. Oh my gosh, would you just break already? Thank you. Um, that's really cool. I like the lava pouring down like that. Um, oh, I hate this rush stuff. Come on. There we go. Let's take a look over by the village and see if there's anything useful. Um, no. I'm not too concerned about the village, per se. Oh. Although you got a pathway that comes all the way over. That's actually kind of cool. Just because of that, I'm going to come visit you guys. And look for what I'm looking for. No doors. No doors to hide from the, from the Zomberts, guys. I know the one village all of a sudden had a door on it. Alright, so... I'm thinking, I'm kind of venturing out too because I saw the thing about a jungle and the parrot and all that. So I'm, that's why I'm kind of continuing on instead of just going straight to that uh, swamp. But the sun is setting, which means it's time to get out on the open water where Zomberts don't spawn and uh, don't attack me. That's a really cool, oh man, that would have been a cool place to live. That would have been really cool. I like this area. That just looks like really like all the eucalyptus and the hillside and hi hey, run 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 run. I don't want to mess with doggies right now. My my meat sickles are at three. I can't sprint. I'm glad these dogs are really really slow. Apparently they can't catch up to a walking human. Go go. Yeah, leave me alone. Oh, you guys can swim, can't you? All right, let's let's eat up a little bit real quick. <clears throat> what I'm going to do is go ahead and head over to my known swamp where I can find one. And then we will try to get that monolith stone and take care of that then. And then we'll be back as soon as I get there. So we'll be right back. All right, just a quick question for you guys. <clears throat> as I'm heading back, <clears throat> I see all these lanterns down here. And I know they're sea lanterns, and they have something to do with one of the extensions. Um, like one of the updates a couple years back, or you know, however long ago. I'm just wondering, does that mean that there's possibly one of those like underground guardian things there? I don't know. You let me know. I just wanted to ask, because I really don't know. Um, I just saw the lights down there, and I thought I'd ask. So, Anyways, we're still heading back. I just wanted to ask that question while I saw it and remembered it. So, we'll be back. All right, guys, so <clears throat> I know I've got to be close because here's that slime stuff. <clears throat> However, it kind of runs off into a dead end over here. But it's the slog of ooze. Can I collect you? No. Can I shovel you? No. Okay. But that means <clears throat> if there's all this ooze, there's got to be one around here somewhere, right? It was like over here. Yeah. Fall ah, here it is. Okay. Is this mineable? Okay, it is. Cool. I kind of... Okay, so... <clears throat> part of me just wants to get the stone, right? But then part of me wants to see if I can get six of these to spawn. I kind of want to see what the monument spawning looks like. Is that stupid of me? To want to see this thing, like, spawn? And is it the sound of one of those sloggus? Or is there another animal in the area? A uh, bear. 
That is not the same bear that attacked me. That is so not the same bear that attacked me. Let's get a little bit more of the stone. Just in case we might need it for something. I like to take souvenirs. But I think it would be cool to kind of sit around and see if I can get six of these things. I just, I mean, it's part of the game. I think it'd be cool. So I'm thinking maybe they put them up here or something like that. I don't know. But I don't want to stay in here that long. <laughs> I don't want to be killed by stupid actions. And that bear is making noises. Okay. Um, which way did I come down? I came south to get here, right? Like, okay, if I'm facing my house, my house is normally north. Let's just look at the map, shall we? Um, okay, so I'm there, so I gotta go northeast, or sorry, northwest. Okay, so we'll just head out this way. I got the stone. We can always come back later and see if we can... Really, dudes? Really? You're just sitting there waiting for me? Get away. Um, come back later. I want to see if I can get them to create the little monument and stuff like that. But for right now, for achievement purposes, I'm just dead fishies everywhere. Um, I think it's better just to get it and go. We're not too far. I think that's literally our island right there. No, we're not far away. Is it? That is our island, right? Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah. I can see my house rendering out in the distance now. I, <clears throat> I'm having fun. I don't know about you guys, but I'm having fun. This is, this is a really fun pack with some really unique ideas that's just, you know, new to me. <clears throat> and I really like the, the way it's designed. And I'm hoping some packs like this, I know can like be really good right at the very beginning because they have all these ideas and then they kind of fizzle out, which is cool because then it just you know, opens up to more creativity on my part, but I'm hoping that the creativity on the mod pack creators part, uh, goes farther than just like age one. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. So let's go try to make this real quick. And this might be the last thing we do for this episode. Cause it's getting a little bit long and some of my episodes have been going way longer than I wanted to. So if I can kind of keep one in a realistic time frame, I think that would be good. Uh, let's see. What was I trying to make? I'm trying to make a statue. So. Um, I think this, there we go. Okay, so. Die, clay, monolith stone makes the statue. Okay. I don't remember where I put all my dyes. I might have thrown them away, actually. Let's go grab a flower real quick and make that happen oh, I'm so used to running up everything oh that's so funny that I was literally like why am I frozen here okay you come here right there you hooked up I can't tell if you're hooked up or not no did your lead break and go somewhere funny do I have two leads on me and I just can't tell no, let's, what happened to the lead? Oh, there it is, okay. And let's put a flower in. That was not a flower, that was canola seeds. This is a flower. <coughs> Hopefully it's not a specific kind of dye. I mean, it's possible. Let's look at the statues again. Um, so that's orange dye. It looks like they might be kind of specific. That's blue dye, magenta, yellow. Okay, we're gonna do that one. That's the one we're doing right now. All right, cool. Got the clay, got the monolith stone, here we go. <coughs> so we can get the statue done, and I think, I think this would be a good wrapping up place. I think this was pretty productive. We got the bronze and all that stuff done. We done some digging. And it's funny, because when you record an hour long episode, let me tell you. It's actually a lot longer. Oh, the dyes were right here. And now I remember. Uh, which one do we want? We want the Shuzuzu statue. Do we want... Which one do we want? I want... I want this tall one here. So that was the one we were going to do anyways. Okay, cool. 
uh, clays up top monolith we got it so we'll make the statue and yeah but yeah I, what I was basically saying was an hour long episode is a lot longer than an hour when it comes to recording and then I forget like what we did to be it feels like forever ago um, when we were mining up the copper so well is that not, not is that not the right statue <clears throat> um, you need to collect statues to power your Necronomicon find a chocolate layer in the swamp and river biomes after six or more spawn they will eventually erect a monolith with a statue on top of it or craft a statue using the slogoth flesh. Consult. Ooh, so I gotta use slogoth. Well, that means I'm gonna have to go back and do that again. Um, let's put you here for now. There you go. I don't know what you are, but you're there. I don't know what the frick this thing is. Anyways, let's let's go back to the necro. I looked at the Necronomicon, and I could have sworn that's where I got the idea to do the little ones, right? That's where I got that idea from, right? Hold on. Let's look. Yeah, see decorative statues. So where's the one with slogoth flesh then? Special materials. Let's look up a recipe for sloggish flesh. Flesh. Um, it's gonna be this one. Yep. Oh, okay. <clears throat> I got it. Eight of those to get to the actual statue. So I need to go kill some of those guys. Oh. I am nowhere near ready to kill those guys. Is there anything else we can do before we finish up? Nope, that's kind of where our end pass is right now. So I'm going to go and basically make a bunch of bronze so I can make some better armor and possibly better weapons. And then when we get going in tomorrow's, or next episode, not tomorrow, but hey, the, oh, the ivy's starting to spread. Um, in the next episode, we can go head out and take on some of those slogas and get some of their flesh. And maybe we can see them just erect the statue. Maybe that's a possibility too. But until next time, travelers, y'all know the deal. I'm Slider Havoc, and I'm out of here. Peace.